Welcome to Hindustan Times Digital. My name is Aditya. And in this video, we are going to look at the top camera features of the Xiaomi Redmi 9 smartphone. This phone comes with dual rear AI cameras, uh, which is basically uh, giving you different advanced features and a whole lot of uh, advanced AI centric uh, options that you can filter around and play around and uh, do be before sharing it on social media. In addition to this, you have a selfie camera on the front, which is housed in the water top notch. So let's look at the further details of the camera on the Redmi 9. So uh, as you can see, uh, this is the back of the Redmi 9 and uh, this is the square module wherein the dual rear cameras uh, are sitting and you have this 13 megapixel which is the primary sensor and then you have this 2 megapixel depth sensor. Along with that you have the LED flash which basically enlightens and uh, basically gives you much more uh, like clarity in terms of details when you're clicking pictures especially in uh, lower light conditions. So this is basically the right camera, uh, I mean the rear camera and then you have the front camera which is there on the water drop notch at the front uh, which is right below the front speakers as you can see. So in terms of the interface, uh, this is where the, the camera basically looks uh, very easy in terms of its uh, interface. It's quite user friendly and uh, you have all these basic elements that you require from a camera centric feature. So you have this photo mode, then you have this portrait mode and then you have this video option pro mode. So pro mode is basically where you can uh, manually set uh, different kind of settings for before clicking a photo. So let's say you want to set up a white balance uh, like manually. So these are the options that you get. You can also do that same for the upper um, aperture level that you want to set. ISO level can also be defined manually and then you have other different elements that you can set also. So these are primarily for someone who really wants to like deep dive into the camera features and really wants to explore the capabilities of the camera. For them the pro mode is ideal. Uh, apart from that you have this video mode wherein you have different options, you have different resolutions with which you can click. So th this phone's camera can shoot uh, videos at 720p resolution at 30fps and 1080p resolution at 30fps also. And uh, then you have different elements and you can go to the settings and define how you want the videos to look and so on and so forth. The photo mode is basically the photo mode uh, and the primary camera is used for that and it lets you capture uh, uh, photos in normal conditions in all kind of conditions basically. The portrait mode is it's much more pronounced and you have this background blur option that you get and it basically enhances the subject right in front of the screen and it gives you better clarity in terms of the details that you're looking for freezing on that particular subject uh, over there. Uh, apart from that you have other options also you have this short video option so this is quite famous for uh, a lot of these social media platform these days. So you can shoot a very short video and share it uh, with probably a quick edit uh, to be done uh, to them by adding some videos and uh, so many other filter elements. Uh, then you have the time lapse basically um, this is also again a very uh, common feature nowadays within the video ecosystem and uh, people really like it and they share it on social media and they try to get a lot of likes, uh, generate likes from doing all those things. Now moving on to the front camera you have this 5 megapixel front camera on the Redmi 9 and uh, as you can see uh, the elements are pretty much the same you have the photo mode you have the portrait mode over here wherein the uh, the, the subject is uh, pretty much in focus over there and it's, it's auto focus so it kind of detects where the face is or where the subject is and it tries to click the capture uh, it, it tries to capture the person in that particular vein. Uh, then you have this video thing also which you can shoot. So these days uh, video calling is quite uh, essential for a lot of people especially for those who are uh, like working from remote areas or let's say are working on the go. So for them uh, using a phone's front camera is ideal and you can do all sorts of uh, video calling via Skype or Zoom and so many other platforms that are available. But uh, the interesting thing is the pro mode is only uh, limited to the rear camera. So the front camera limitations are there, but then you have other filters that you can drive. So this is one of the more important things. I mean, you have this AI mode over here. And when you enable this, uh, the, en it, the image basically enhances, the quality enhances and you can see a lot better details with it. And then you have this HDR mode which can be enabled also. So you can switch it between auto and manual depending on what your requirements are. So these are basically the camera elements of the Redmi 9. So with a host of uh, AI-centric features, uh, filter options and so many other variety that you can try around experiment with before sharing it on social media, the Redmi 9 gives you a host of variety in terms of the camera at the back as well as the front as well and uh, you can basically like 
play around with its camera and try to be much more uh, creative with what you want to share on your profile. So this is the camera on the Redmi 9. 